Hello everybody and welcome to Gaming with Mr. Poopy. Today we're going to be taking a look at an oldie but a goodie, Total War Warhammer, the first one. Um, this game came out a while ago, um, but we're going to take a look at it anyway. We're going to do the benchmark. We're going to be running it with the 3080 Ti, the i7-12700K at 1080p. Because uh, that is my new monitor. It is a 1080p, 240Hz monitor HyperX with G-Sync. Um, so our resolution is set at 1080p. Advanced settings, we have everything ultraed out. Depth of field on, screen space, reflections, porthole quality, ultra, 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 anisotropic filtering. Anti-aliasing is at eight times. Unlimited video memory. Oh, V-Sync off, there we go. SSAO. Distortion effects, uh, we don't need this. That's not really gonna do much anything anyway. Uh, proximity fading, blood effects, all on. All right, so apply it. And we're gonna run the benchmark and see what this does. I'm assuming it's going to be very nice considering we're only at 1080p. And this is an older title. And we are in the 120s and uh, the picture is looking nice. Ultra out graphics over 100. Oh, we're dropping now, down to the 80s and 90s. Oh, here they come! Look out! Kaplop. <laughs> That's funny. In the 120s. So we are getting some jumps here and there, and sometimes we're getting into the low 80s. Then we're over 100, depending on what's going on on the screen here. This is where it gets a little intense with these flames. Oh, 70, 60, 56! Oh, boy. And now we're back up in the upper 70s. Ooh, that's a nice-looking spider there. 117. Things are running nicely. GPU's getting used. 100% basically. Nice. Picture looks really good. Even in 1080p. Stomping on those dwarfs. Oof. There we go. Average of 106. That's that's a nice average there. All right, so let's exit out of this, and we're gonna play around a little bit just for the just for the hell of it. Um, Let's see here, we'll go back out of here. Um, and just to show you what, uh, let's see, is there a way I can, uh, there we go, custom. We're gonna put everything on low. Cause you know, 3080 Ti was struggling there a little bit. <laughs> um, advanced. So everything's on low. Uh, texture quality still on ultra. I don't know if we need to. Uh, hmm. Is that going to require a restart? Let's see here. No. Okay. Beautiful. Except. Eh. Come on now. All right. So everything is on low. Low. This is all off. Proximity fading. Let's see. Fade units when camera gets close. Okay. Yeah. That's not going to avoid it for, for anything. Blood effects. We're going to leave that on anyway. Um, all right, so everything's on its lowest setting. Let's go ahead and benchmark this and see what happens. I'm curious if we're actually going to hit 240. I would think so. Oh, boy. Oh, we're well over 240. Wow! <laughs> the units are looking a little small here. Oh. But, uh... Yeah, the army size is much smaller. I mean, it's still... Honestly, it still looks decent. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I, would, I mean, I would probably turn up the size of the units just to make it a little more epic looking. You know, if you're going to war, you'd want more soldiers on the battlefield. Um, but it still looks good. <laughs> yeah, they went they got tossed around a little there the funny thing is on low settings you can actually I guess because there's not as many you know units and 
guys on screen, like you can see more detail of what's actually happening on screen, like between the all the little soldiers and everyone getting squished and smashed and thrown about. Oh yeah, see. <laughs> Nice. All right. That was on the lowest. Um, let's exit out of here. Um, let's put the textures back to ultra. And then uh, unit size, we're going to put that back to ultra. And we'll keep everything else on low. So apply that. Advanced. Benchmark. So let's see how it does with... Ultra textures and ultra size of the units. Yeah, still over. Yeah. Oh, see, that looks better too. We got more guys on screen. Going to war. We're still over 240. Not that you technically need 240 frames on a game like this. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's a technical war game. Uh, So you'd be fine with 60 frames. You'd probably be fine with 30 if you don't mind having a lower frame rate. But uh, we're just experimenting and having some fun here with this. Let's see what's possible. All right. Down a little upper threes there. As everyone's getting torched. Blech! <laughs> oh, oh. Drop down now into the 200s here. Back up to three. <laughs> Smacking them around. 377. All right, all right. All right, we'll do one last benchy mark here. Um, let's go to um, custom. Let's see what everything is on high. What what does it recommend for? What does it set it to for high settings? Advanced. All right. So texture. Uh, so it has depth of field and screen space is still off. Large, high, high. So it's not on ultra. Um, okay. Anti-aliasing is off. Uh, well, hmm. That's on high settings and it's off. Well, let's put it to four times. Um, I would think we should still have that on on high, I would think. But then everything else is just on high instead of ultra. The textures are on ultra. Eh, we should probably put that on high just to match it all. Screen space reflections, we'll put that on. Put the field on. Alright. So everything is on. Got anti isling it four times. Um, and everything's on high, so curious to see what uh, kind of results we get on that. Because typically, when I have it ultraed with the eight times, you know, we were somewhere around the hundred frame rate. I think it was somewhere around there. I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, we're definitely dropping there. GPU usage is a little all over the place. Hmm. Here we go with the flaming. I think it got down to 50 when it... Uh... Oh, okay, see now? Alright. So definitely a difference there on high. Um... Granted, I think part of that was the anti-aliasing at eight times. That is pretty intensive. Mm -hmm. 
smash. 155. Okay. So, yeah, there's definitely a noticeable difference there. Um, I mean, these are all extremely high frame rates. It's nothing. Nothing here at all to complain about. Um, so, if we just went back to Ultra, what they consider Ultra. So, see, when you set it to Ultra, it still turns this off. It still turns this off. The unlimited video memory, let's just let's set available. This improve quality, but can reduce the performance. I don't know if it's better to have this on or off. I mean, I have plenty of video <laughs> memory, but uh, yeah, let's put it on. Um, so let's see here. So instead of eight times, if we're at four times, let's apply that. All right, so everything's altered. Pretty much, yeah, everything's at its max, except for anti-aliasing is at four. So let's benchmark that real quick. Take a little picky doodle. And we'll see in that fire section if it drops down to 50 again or if it stays above. I'm assuming it'll stay higher this time. Um, but, uh, I mean, the difference between high and ultra, eh, you're not seeing a, you know, a huge difference between high and ultra. I mean, that's pretty much with any game. You're looking at some small differences between high and ultra. And, uh, yeah. We stayed in the 90s. So that, yeah, that eight times anti-aliasing, pretty intensive. Everything looks good, though. Looks good. Runs great. It's wonderful. Stupendous. Fantabulous. All those beautiful explosions. Oh no! Little dwarf. Plop, plop. That's horrible. 133. I think that's good. Well, there you have it. Um, no shocker there. Um, it runs great. <laughs> but still, it's always fun to see and play with it just to see what you can get out of it. Um, I mean, if you really wanted to get 240 hertz, I guess you could. Is it necessary on this game? Absolutely not. But either way, um, some interesting results. So, hope you liked the video. If so, give it a like. And if you're enjoying my content, please subscribe and have yourselves a wonderful day. Bye-bye.